Hi guys. I had an idea today for a pretty interesting video and wanted to shoot it for you just to give you an idea of where we've come and how far we've come in the past year. So this little guy right here that I'm zoomed in on was the very, very first working model, the first prototype that I ever got to print and put in the wind for Harmony. It was just two little blade pairs and that would be 90 degree offsets between the lower and the upper but it spun like a little maniac in the window and in my very first video I show that little turbine spinning and you get to see it performing then as I zoom out a little bit you'll see I went to the larger model that I have in other videos where I'm holding this pink model and it's spinning in the wind as well this one had three blade pairs in it and it was 60 degree offsets between all three and that one performed nicely as a test unit but everyone got all on my case and said oh well that's great it's just a pinwheel put a generator on it and let it spin some real power and then you'll see so that's cool you know I keep pushing forward I don't care what people are saying and what they're implying as we zoom out a little bit you can now get a perspective of where we stand now because this is the four scoop 45 degree offset between each blade pair fully operational wind turbine scoop array for Harmony vastly bigger so you see the little tiny one then the larger one and now this one and I'm gonna pause the video right here and then I'm gonna actually show this turbine opening the turbine blades because the other two really were just static blade sets you would I could have set the blades at any angle I wanted to have them opened the little pink one and the even tinier micro unit but that's it they couldn't furl and unfurl automatically. The new unit, the prototype unit, the residential prototype unit is going to be able to furl and unfurl automatically running its safety algorithms and its optimization algorithms. So I want to pause the video here and show that to you. All right, now I've removed my other units. They're in the box over here, safely put away so that I don't hurt them, but taken them off of the larger unit just so I can show you the furling and unfurling. Now I'm going to just operate it manually right now because I still have more work to do, but this will let you see the furling and unfurling capabilities of this full turbine uh, scoop array or the blade array. So that's furl fully unfurled. That's opened up. Each of the scoop pairs is opened and it would be ready to catch wind, of course, in this configuration. Then, as it needs to begin furling or closing because of high wind situations or dangerous wind situations or even just, you know, to close up a little bit to optimize when we have our optimization algorithms running, it might be better to be a little bit closed and not fully opened. This is uh, what it looks like when it begins to close, or when it closes. And there we go. It's a pretty cool mechanism. It's all going to be controlled by a computer program. It's going to be monitoring. setting the furling state so right now it's only 90% opened and maybe this is the best configuration for it to perform in a, a six mile an hour wind. Uh, maybe it doesn't need to be 100% opened. There it's about 80% closed and maybe that's better for 12 mile an hour winds. Who knows? This is the exciting part. As we 
begin testing and gathering that data, we're going to find that different furling states are better for different wind conditions. And as long as it's not running into safety issues where we're over speed, if we, let's just, I keep throwing out the example of 400 RPM, let's just say we're approaching that 400 RPM limit and we have to start furling down and closing to cut down on our speed a little bit. As long as it's not in that state where it's protecting itself from a safety standpoint, then it will be running its efficiency algorithm and optimizing the furling state for the wind speed. At any rate, I just wanted to show you guys that because um, it was a pretty interesting little display when you look at where we've come in the past year, how far we've come from this little tiny unit that I put in the window a year ago and saw spin for the first time to this unit, which I had in my videos spinning outside in the wind, to now this unit, which is what I consider the full residential size prototype that I'm going to be soon mounting on the generator cart and gathering data from. So I thought it was pretty cool, thought I would share that with you guys. Maybe you can give me some feedback, let me know if you thought it was cool too. Okay, well thank you, take care.